I have been using this style of hinge for many, many years, probably over 30 years. And uh, you may recall when I was trying to find the uh, center of the hole, when, when one of these was glued onto, I think it was one of these pieces here, uh, you know, I was having a bit of a problem and I was getting comments to the effect of, why don't you have a self-centering hinge drill bit? Well, I don't know why, because I've got just about everything else. I'm, I was big into gadgets. Anything that came out, I used to buy it, as long as it was affordable. And those are very, very affordable, so I'm surprised that I don't have a set yet. Anyway, I thought just for the fun of it, while I'm waiting for all this to dry, because I have to put several coats on, at least I think I do. I've got two coats on now, by the way. And I'm going to use this spike and I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to drill a little hole up through the uh, center of it and I'm going to chamfer it just right and hopefully I'll be able to use it to find the center of the hole and the drill will <clears throat> drill in the center where it's supposed to go. I think you get my drift. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. I want to try and get it so as much of this uh, bit is into the chuck as possible so that there's not going to be any kind of wobble going on. At least that's my theory. Don't know if it helps or not. Now this is a very inexpensive lathe and everything is using 100 year old technology like this. Should be a faster way to tighten this down, but anyway, it's still, still good enough for me, that's for sure. Now I don't know if you heard it, but I heard a little snap just as I was starting. I thought, uh oh, that didn't sound good. And I broke the point off there. It should look like this right here. And um, yeah, I guess I got a little bit too aggressive there. Uh, maybe that's why they give me three of these things. And each one is double-ended, so I've got six. That means I've got five more. I'll just be a lot more careful next time. Anyway. I do believe I've got this starter hole in the dead center. These are the screws that come with these hinges. They're custom made just for these hinges. They're even the right color. And I may as well custom make the centering bit for these hinges. 
And these two drill bits that you see there, well, they're exactly the right size. Now there's one thing that's absolutely certain, and that is I don't want to get too aggressive with this bit and accidentally break it off up inside there. I'm only thinking I'm going to have to go in maybe half an inch, and I'm going to go very, very carefully. Okay, that should be good. Okay, now I'm going to want to put a very slight camphor on it here. And you just uh, cut it right there. Don't need too much, maybe only about 15 degrees, I'm just guessing here. Now I may have to put my cutter on the other side here. Yeah, I yeah, am. I'm going to have to change this around. It doesn't have to be real tight, just snug. There, now I can get in there. Now I have to remember here because I'm going to be cutting off of the back side, I'm going to want to make sure I've got my lathe running in reverse. I'll try not to bump the camera too many times here. Okay, very, very carefully now. I'm just I think that should be all right. Okay, let's test that out first. See if I have to maybe go at more of an angle. can feel that it's trying to center itself but that's got to be more of a more of an angle this way well I think I've got it now but I want to make sure because once I take this spike out of the chuck I probably won't be able to get it in exactly the same way right now everything's centered so Maybe I could give it just a tiny bit more here. Well, let's cut it off and see what we can do here. Now, this isn't exactly rocket science, but it'll work. Speaking of rocket science, it was on the news this morning that Dr. Stephen Hawking died. I really enjoyed his stuff. 
Okay. So, yeah, that should work. Okay. So if I bring the end of the drill bit up to the blade, it should be at the end of the hole, right? Okay, and I'll clamp this in place here. And measure twice, cut once. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, I don't think there's too much of the hole left in this piece here. And there's the half inch piece that I wanted. Now let's try this out and see if it's going to work the way I hope it does. But that's going to have to be tomorrow because it's getting a little bit late here and I do want to have a video to post tonight. So, see you tomorrow. You too, Jackson.